simply making America great again. It will make America great again. You see these beautiful women? I'm not allowed to use the term beautiful as a politician. In fact, it could be the end of my career. If Glenn ever ran against me, he'd say he called women beautiful, and that could be the end of my career. But they're beautiful. What am I going to do? I can't lie. But you see these beautiful women up here? They come from a place called North Carolina. We all love North Carolina. And this is their 127th rally. And it's hard to believe. I seldom see their husbands, their husbands, but they're happily married. I said, are you all happily married? They love their husbands. You love your husbands? They put up with a lot, huh? No, they're very happily married women, but it's 127. But I'll tell you, Front Row Joes even have that. They're about 200 and something, right? They must have made a lot of money somewhere along the, along the line. Do my people treat you good? Huh? They better treat you good. Front Row Joes, they become very famous. The question every voter should be asking themselves today is not whether Joe Biden can survive a 90-minute debate performance but whether America can survive four more years of crooked Joe Biden in the White House. In fact, I don't know if we can really survive five more months. This is the most dangerous time in the history of our country, in my opinion. And we have a transition period because hopefully there has to be a transition. We've never been so close to World War III before. And if it happens, it will be a war like no other. This because of the threat of certain types of weapons. We don't even want to mention the word, but because of the type of weapons that you're talking about today, and I know them better than anybody. You know, I built our military. I, re I totally rebuilt our military. I know more about weapons than just about anybody. And when you look at the incredible destructive power of these weapons, this will be a war like no other. This will not be two army tanks running against each other and shooting. This is going to be something the likes of which we've never seen. And we have a man who's grossly incompetent heading up our nation. And he's competing against Putin and President Xi of China and Kim Jong-un of North Korea. He's competing against people that are at the top of their game. And he was never really at the top of his game. He was never very good. But now he's really not good. Last night, was a defeat not only for Biden, but for the entire radical left Democrat Party and the fake news media, who have been lying to the American people as our country was being destroyed. The fake news media, look at all of them back there. Look at all of them. That's a lot of cameras. That's a lot of cameras. That's a lot of camera power.